Come on, Maya. Let's go. Come on. Hey guys, Dusty Baker, Cross Simmers Bison. Welcome back to our channel. It's cold, it's rainy today. It's about 39 degrees, supposed to be freezing here in a couple hours. Then get some snow and sleet, so it's gonna be a fun day. So, and we're gonna run down there and take care of them um, before this stuff gets worse. Hey girl, you ready? Get cold? Ooh. Me to turn the heater on? Just kidding. Slipping Dunbar. Good morning. Hello, everybody. Dunbar. You're wet. You're wet, bud. Party last night? All right, let's go. All right, I got this done here at the Dunbar place at Mom and Kevin's. You know, the cold weather is not bad, but when you add some rain to it uh, or some sort of precipitation, it makes it a whole lot worse. So it's cold and it's wet today. Hey, Jackie. Jackie, you're all wet and muddy. Oh, you're the coyote sniffing out dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Jackie. Hey, Jackie. Come on, let's go see Charlie. Charlie, some food. Oh, hey, Charlie. There you go. <clears throat> huh? Get these chickens fed. Little taco bell cup. Not quite making it. It's lasting. Daddy! Mean rooster. Come on, chickens. No, 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 not Jackie. No. Brooks's eggs for. Only two. Hey, 
Get out, get out, get out, get out. Let's let the chickens in. Jackie, come on, Jackie. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Get out. Let the chickens in. I'm gonna go eat. Ready? True. Hey. Let's get this started. We gotta get the uh, big Joe Herd a bell of hay. Calves will make a run for it, but I want to walk them back right here this way. Top in this skid steer, load this up where them calves run out. I'm having to use my, uh, I just realized after I uh, got in the skid steer, I brought this over. Kevin uses this to haul hay back and forth um, between here and the Dunbar place if we need it over there. And for his sheep, uh, their sheep ranch. And so I was gonna use it, come over here and put one on it and then take over to mom and Kevin's cause we're out of hay at, at the Dunbar place. But um, I just realized my <laughs> diesel is low in the skid steer. So I'm gonna have to put this on there use my truck and take a bell to the big joe herd i gave the yearlings one yesterday and then come back and put one on uh to haul to mom and kevin so that's what i'm gonna do real quick Excited? What? It's cold and wet. You guys are nuts. Excited. There's old Haas. Hey, buddy. My biggest challenge of pulling through these gates, as you can see, 
if they come and see me if they see me first they'll beat me to the gate so what that means is i probably need a panel right here and actually marissa my wife i came up with this idea put a freestanding panel out right here well this is a freestanding panel because it's it's really easy and mobile to move with the skids here put one right here that way i kind of have an alley or a lane to use when i pull through here and this gate swings open this way it can kind of sort of have a block system here and then you have a panel there now it kind of creates an alley because the toughest part is because you can pull where the gate stops right here and you can kind of use this to block you but here that gate swings open it's time for they can run through and i've had a couple of them do that to me before so uh but skid steer has just enough fuel to get us loaded but not enough but i've got full drive my truck and this road that we drive on is pretty good that drives right through our 80 acres here on this front stretch so um we're gonna do that got a strategy here i'm gonna try i've had so many problems going through these gates because the big joe herd will make their way up here like this and it gets tight right over here going through these gates and it's just it's uncomfortable and i don't like it and uh i haven't had any get out and change pastures yet but uh you know not gonna point any fingers but it's just a tight space um, and so I'm going to try to get them from pasture one into pasture two here with this bell of hay, get their attention like Haas is doing here. And then um, I'm going to lock them out of pasture one. I kind of just let them have these 40 acres to let them go back and forth. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get them squared away here and get them locked in pasture two so I can just run through and get to uh, Big Joe and them. It's Bobby. Bobby's in the back. Come on, Bobby. Last one. Waiting on you. Got a girl. Thank you, Bobby. Now the problem is, is I gotta get from here to over there. I could walk between them. Hoss is uh, my only one that I worry about a little bit. He's over here looking at my truck. I wonder what the heck's going on. But I can walk over here real quick. But these heifers usually don't bother me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Wolverine bison. All right, well, let me undo this. So I'm just going to set that right there. I'll tell you what I can do. I've actually got a sack of cubes with me. I'm going to give these guys a sack of cubes. Great. He's out here now. And uh, I'll make a round a loop and I'll come back, go out here and shut this again. Because I still have to, I still have to go through it. I could go through this gate right here, but we're back to square one. But I locked them out of pasture one. Now they're in pasture two. In case any of them do get out, they're just in here, not mixed in with my yearlings. So let's get back across here to my truck. Hosses are in my truck. Can I, uh, can I get over there, please? Oh, he's scared of my windshield wipers. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. I'll give you some cubes. Hold on. Come on. Okay, 
I'm gonna try something here. You gotta try to be smarter than them. Except this guy here. Oh, hey buddy. I haven't had hand fed you cubes in a while. Have we? Yeah, I know, I know. I'm gonna try something here. I'm gonna put some cubes out over here. Try to grab their attention. I don't know. Now here's the challenge, is going through here without them darting, but at least they're out now. Now Big Joe's got me trapped here. I have to go around. I got lucky that time, none of them darted through. She's one of the ones that will. Peaches, you're another one. I'm gonna say it's a little easier to uh, <laughs> look at Big Joe. Big Joe, dude, you got some hay on your noggin. Well, see you later. Um, I'll, I'll have to say it is much easier to use the skid steer in this situation. Uh, the skid steer's just got enough fuel in it to uh, to <laughs> to load those bells of hay up, and I don't know why this cow is hanging out with me, but. You know, because you can roll it out with that skid steer, which is much easier. And when I backed up into this bell of hay with that with this single hauler, um, I didn't mean to flip it over because they're obviously much easier to push and roll um, if they're standing upright so you can roll it. But uh, I accidentally hit it a little too hard and it flipped it up uh, on its side. So I wasn't able to actually roll it out. I'm um, using my truck to try to push it some. It's, it's important to spread it out uh, because some of these females won't go up there uh, because of the dominant of the other ones. So I'm trying to use my truck to spread it out a little bit and make it a little easier, but I accidentally flipped it over and there's no way I can flip it back over now without the skid steer. So I'm going to push it around a little bit and uh, try to spread this hay out for some of these uh, younger, these younger females. So um, definitely a lot easier than skid steer, but I don't just don't like driving that skid steer all the way back here. So Another thing I need to do is I've got to get to get a flatbed on this truck. Um, I, I just have to because it's it's dangerous feeding them, uh, you know, the cubes and and whatnot. It's just it's just kind of dangerous doing that. Having to get out of your vehicle, grab the sack of feed, keep your door open. I've got it's raining and the rain is getting inside my truck on the door and stuff um, because I have to open the door to pour the cubes out. So you got all those those things going on um, whenever you just you can get a flatbed and then have a cake feeder on it and you basically push a button on the inside of your truck. And so uh, I've been looking into all that. I know I brought that up about a month ago or so. Um, and I've been looking into um, different brands and, and there's several brands around here that I'm looking at here in Oklahoma. So uh, I'm kind of narrowing it down to what will fit my situation. And then uh, I kind of already have a cube a feeder uh, company uh, that said they can uh, put one on here and uh, they kind of can do it. Um, they can custom make them a little bit and adjust to the size of your bed and uh, the length of your bed and stuff. So anxious and excited to do that because obviously these conditions uh, doing it this way, it's old school, you know, and I've gotten by for a long time, but the more bison I get and, um, and the more... Uh, I just realized, you know, hey, I need to get smarter and, uh, you know, you're going to have to invest in something 
uh, you know, a flatbed trailer and a cake feeder just for safety and uh, just for easiness too, just to make it easier uh, on yourself. And if somebody comes out here and feed like, like Kevin, if I'm not around or even my wife, Marissa, she comes out here and feed, she's basically, uh, all she has to do is open a gate. And that's not the easiest thing either, as you can just tell of the shenanigans that I just went through. And you may not see it on camera. I may not show it all the time, but those are the shenanigans that I go through almost every time. Uh, but, and, and that's just because of pasture rotation and stuff like that for winter it's a little easier when there's grass and uh, they're rotated and they're busy eating grass but this time of the year they see the truck or the atv they come running uh for for hay or for cubes so that's just part of life right now well i am gonna head home and get ready for the snow that's coming and probably the frozen roads so all my chores are done big joe's got his hay on his head we are all set Folks, that is snow. Started snowing. All right. Well, got all the chores done. I wanted to try to get home before this snow came, and it's obviously here. It's coming down pretty good now, and uh, it's a little bit better than the rain. I appreciate it. It doesn't matter. We need the moisture. It's been dry, but I got everything done before I thought it would. Um, but the ground isn't very cold, um, which I don't think the snow is going to stick very well right now, but the temperatures are dropping and, uh, it is, it's, it's eventually going to stick at some point, uh, probably, but it's really pretty, not pretty right now coming down and, you know, the bison love this. So hopefully tomorrow when I come back, some of the snow will still be here and this place will look a lot different. And I love getting footage of the bison in the snow it's one of my favorite things it's bison and snow just go together you know so um anyways uh thank you guys for bison ranching with me today and being a part of uh you know some winter work at the bison at both places taking care of dunbar herd and the ponderosa herds so thank you guys for being with us today y'all keep ranching <laughs>